Hey guys, today I want to show you how I optimize my landscapes, um, specifically the grass that I use on my landscapes. So um, I've just created a simple, very simple, even without any material landscape. First thing that you should do in your landscapes, as I told you before, is to um, make the light source to be movable. This is really important. And I've actually created a video about how to light your landscape and your um and all of your foliages. Please go check that out. This that's really important because there are some really good techniques that will make your scene look much much better. So uh, I usually for my grass I use this asset from Quixel Bridge. I just export it now. This is it. Um, so what I wanted to tell you first is go to the on the Quixel bridge, go to the export settings, and on models I just exported the LOD one. You don't need these. I, in my opinion, these just these don't work, man. The LOD system on um, Unreal Engine 4 does a really great job in here. So. It is a little bit harder, but at the end, the the quality that you'll get is much, much better, and it will worth it. So, um, right now, this is uh, this has 1,296 vertices, which is not good at all. Not good, I'm telling you. Let let, let me see, um, show you something. So we're going to add some foliage here. show FPS okay I'm going to need something like this scale is good um, yeah in lighting section you need to have checked the distance field lighting but before that you need to have checked the, the distance mesh where was it? Distance generate mesh distance fields. Yeah, you need to have checked this too, and this will help um, grass really much to have a really more realistic look. So yeah, I guess now I'm going to show you how it will like crash on me. Look at the frame for a second. This is bad. I mean, just look at it. This is really bad. I can't even get it lower. This is not optimized at all. So I'm, I'm going to show you some techniques that I usually use to make it better. So first of all, the first technique that I sometimes used, I don't really recommend it to you guys, but it's it's really good to know, is it's the call distance. I usually use something like 3000 maybe, to help the... Um, yeah, as you can see, it will just call the meshes in and out to um, keep the frame rate in a good shape but I wouldn't recommend it for grass maybe for some other foliages but not for grass because you know uh, the whole field should be filled with grass but in this way you just see nothing um, because everything's being called out we don't want that so what we will do instead is just zero it out well, we'll just go to the mesh itself this is what I told you to use the LOD use the LOD group as foliage it's apply maybe a uh, number of LODs I'd like it mostly to be eight um, I don't want it to auto compute anything eight and apply changes so this is what we have now um, so what you need to do is to just to check every LOD to see which one suits you better. Actually, 
we want to look at the grass closer than this this is not just not possible i mean i mean look at this this is um let me show you something when you hit play this is your camera you can't really look up close to the grass so we will go on accordingly so i guess i'm going to check every LOD. I guess LOD 2 would be really good for um, closer closer grasses so I'm going to put this screen size on 99 to never um, show it on the screen 99 um, yeah 2 was the best one 99 okay so uh, current screen size is like going to use 0 0.26 0.26 and yeah, this will be 0 0.262 I'm going to use this so what I'm going to do is just go a little back maybe I use Zero 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 nine nine. Yeah, zero zero nine is going to be good. And this is this will be like so far. I guess that wouldn't work. So I'll, well, we'll go go on with zero itself. So let's see what happens. Pretty much, pretty intense, right? Just look at it. We are having less grass for sure, but that's a sacrifice you have to take. But look at the frame rate. Frame, frame rate is better. It's at least locked at six, uh, 60 frames per second. And it looks really better on um, while you play it. We can go for something. Let me just paint it more. to like a really big landscape but with the um, optimization we've just made it will perform better than usual I would say yeah just look at the frame per second it's really good you can't really achieve such a frame frame per second really I mean look at look at the grass it is actually changing the LODs and um, I would say it is usable not that bad at all so this is the first um actually it was the second technique but my favorite one the other technique that most of the games use i don't usually use it because i'm not really into games what i do usually in my life of work is the clients mostly they need something with high quality and optimized so i wouldn't ever uh, uncheck this one but if you are working on a game or something you need to uncheck it it is a sacrifice that you have to pay it is going to make a change but um you sometimes you wouldn't even understand it so i would say use um i mean the grass shouldn't be with ca shadows being cast you know it helps the frame rate to get really higher so it, it really depends on you yeah, let me see how it helps a couple of frame press frame rates I would say it's it's worth a shot so yeah this is it pretty much there's actually nothing else to say here i hope you liked it and if you did please hit that su um subscribe button would be appreciated but uh if you did like it please like the video that would be really helpful thank you guys